What are some signs that your horse needs to retire? What type of lifestyle can you create for a, tire, a retired horse if you don't have grass pastures? Well, I think there's no magic number. I mean, would it be great if, ding, they get a number and then we know. We don't know. Some horses want to retire at, you know, 10 or 12, and then others are like, 42 and I'm still going and wins the show. So you have to let them tell you sometimes, and then but then you have to listen. So if they tell you, you know what, I'm done, and it might be not as obvious as an unsoundness or a lameness, that also would be easy, but it, it might just be a, I don't have the drive to perform anymore, or the, uh, the brilliance that I used to have is not coming through. And, and that might tell you it's not time to retire, but time to back off a level. So if you were showing open or you were showing FEI or you were whatever, height jumping, maybe you just step down a notch. Mm -hmm. um, but still compete because it's not that you're going to take a horse that was active in the barn and actively showing it and going places and getting worked on every day and ridden every day and the very next day put them out on 40 acres of pasture. That actually is a really bad idea for mm -hmm. so many reasons. Horses thrive on routine. I mean, mm -hmm. we know that. They, they like their schedule. I mean, when you alter their schedule, havoc ensues. Um, so even when you do need to retire a horse, you want to step down gradually. And some horses, they are used to being in an active barn. They're used to being in that front stall. They're used to going places. They like that. They thrive on that. And if you put them out in a 40-acre pasture with a goat, they're like, nobody loves me, woe is me. And, you know, they're, they're going to lose weight and just not do well. So you have to do what's right for that horse, and you have to do it gradually, and then let them tell you, A, when it's time, and B, if they like what you're doing. But there's no magic number. There's no magic facility. Every horse is different. Some like the 40-acre pasture, and some like, nope, I want to stay in the competition barn and be part of the action. Otherwise, I feel like you don't love me anymore. So. I think my 28-year-old, Cody, Perfect is doing example. a little bit of that step down. So he was my competition horse mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he became a lesson and a therapeutic horse for a long, long time when he was no longer sound enough to compete but still had a right. lot of energy and yeah. wanted the attention yeah. that only yeah. being in a summer camp program surrounded Having by 10 job. kids they painting on oh, you. Oh, that sounds fabulous. He loved it. Yeah. And so now he's stepped, taking the step down even more. He's moved out here to Massachusetts and he's essentially the Walmart greeter of our barn <laughs> where he is in that front stall. Yep. He hollers at everybody who comes into the barn. Everybody, all the little lesson kids, mm -hmm. they love him. And mm -hmm. you know, so it's a, it's nice that he still yeah. has that keeping him active because mm -hmm. he wants to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And that said, I'm sure you do this. You still keep up with his preventive care. So oh, yeah. he still gets his feet done. He still gets his teeth done. Oh, he, gets does he, ever? <laughs> he gets vaccinations and he has parasite control and you have to vet look at him at least once a year. So you still have to do all that. On some of those, maybe even more that mm -hmm. they're older because some systems aren't as efficient. So you have to keep up on the, the wellness care.